Hey everybody, it's Dan Phelps back again with Learning to Smoke and today I'm going to show you how to make party ribs. Party ribs are quick, easy, tasty. You cut them up into individual pieces and you serve them up and they're going to be some of the best tasting ribs that you'll make. I'm going to show you the process. Let's kick off this party rib party here and we're gonna put in some lump charcoal and the big green egg. Lump charcoal is preferred for using in these ceramic grills. And as I get the coals situated the way I want them to, I'm gonna grab myself a fire starter and put it in one side of the basket. I do that so that way the coals can slowly burn across the basket. And I'm gonna use a torch. You can use a lighter, but a torch is fun to use, so I do that. And now I get my rack of ribs. So these are baby back ribs. You can tell because they've got a curve in the bones on the back. Now I'm gonna cut it out of the package here and I'm gonna pull them out. And as I do, I'm gonna lay them here on my cutting board and I'm gonna grab a paper towel. I'm gonna start patting it dry. And the reason I do that is because it's gonna be easier to work with and I think it's gonna be easier to pull off the membrane because that's the next part we're gonna do after we dry off both sides of this rack of ribs is pull off the membrane. So. Getting down to business, kind of put on two gloves. So I flip over the baby back ribs, I pick it up from the middle, and you'll see that there's a thick side to the ribs, and there's also gonna be a thin side to the ribs. And what you wanna do is start putting your fingers in underneath on the thick side at the center of that arch that you've got going, and start wiggling your fingers in, eventually you'll be able to get two, and then you keep working your way in, and you'll be able to get three fingers in, and keep pushing all the way and you'll make sure to break through, break on through to the other side, as Jim Morrison said with the doors. Let me know in the comments if you get that reference. And once you've gotten those fingers all the way through, uh, make sure to grab it and use your other hand. And what you're gonna do is put it on the ribs itself and pull up on that membrane, get one clean pull just like that. See, slow-mo and even slower-mo. And there's the membrane and there's your rack of ribs. Okay, so now we're gonna take these baby back ribs, take a knife, and we're gonna start cutting them into individual ribs. Cause this is what party ribs are, they're individual. So we cut them up into pieces. Each rack of baby back ribs is gonna have about 12 to 14 bones in it. So slice accordingly. And I'm gonna use some mustard and also some seasoning. I've got some hay girl hay sweet rub that I'm gonna use on these. And I got the bones, I got them all facing the same direction up. So that's gonna be the bottom part of it I'm gonna take my mustard and just squeeze it on and I'm gonna make sure to cover it as much as I can try and get each side or at least three of the sides and after I do that I'm gonna put on my seasoning and you can get this seasoning got a link in my bio for it it's pretty awesome I love it on pork and I'm gonna turn them sideways because I didn't get enough mustard on that side and so as I turn them quarter turn I'm going to repeat the process here I'm gonna put the mustard on and then I'm gonna rub it on a little bit more and hit it with the seasoning. As far as seasoning goes, I like to go moderate to heavy. As you can see, I'm going moderate on these, but feel free to go heavy. And you'll realize as you go through this process, you're gonna keep rotating these a quarter turn to make sure that each side is covered with both mustard and also with the seasoning. The mustard is the binder, which helps the seasoning stick. Back to our coal basket now, we see the fire's going a little bit. I'm gonna throw in some wood chunks. I've got some cherry wood here. And then I put in the deflector, that'll help give it indirect heat. And then I put in the other accessories such as the green plates. And I'm just gonna let that get up to about 250 degrees. And once I get to that desired temperature, I'm gonna lay the ribs on individually. And I make sure that I give each rib a little bit of space, that way it'll be able to cook evenly. And I got about 13 ribs here. And I'm gonna let them cook for about an hour and a half, but halfway through that process, I'm gonna take a 50-50 spritz of apple juice and apple cider vinegar to keep these ribs from drying out. Because you want ribs to be nice and tender when you bite into them. But we're gonna pull these off the grill and we're gonna put them into a foil pan. I'll pull them off one by one, and then I try to be fancy and put them in there two by two. And anyway, it doesn't matter how you do it, but make sure you have the following ingredients here for the next part. You got your barbecue seasoning, got your butter, your brown sugar, Dr. Pepper, honey, and then also got some barbecue sauce. And if you're familiar with brisket or pork belly burnt ends, we're gonna treat these party ribs similar. And we're gonna put all those ingredients in the pan. Uh, it doesn't have to go in the same order, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure that they all get in there. And as you put them in there, what I like to do is mix it around a little bit after all the ingredients are layered in. And not necessarily have to do that, but I like to do it just because I wanna make sure that uh, that everything melts evenly in there. 
and I'll put the foil on top of that pan and I'm gonna put it back on the grill. And usually what I do here is I kick up the heat a little bit. I usually heat up to like 300, 325. And this goes in for an hour and a half. And halfway through that process, so 45 minutes in, you're gonna take the foil off the top. And what I like to do is mix it around because you wanna make sure that each party rib get sauced evenly. After you're done doing that, we're gonna cook it uncovered for another 45 minutes. We do that to help develop the stickiness here, but also once that is done cooking after 45 minutes, as you'll see, they'll look nice and awesome. But we're gonna make sure that they cool down a little bit and rest, and as they rest, they're also gonna get a little more sticky. And there you have it, party ribs only take three hours to make. Super easy, super awesome. Don't mind the windy day here. So when you're done with these party ribs, you want them to be sticky, kind of like burnt ends. You don't want them to be too runny, just perfectly sticky. But anyway, let's take a bite and see how they turned out, huh? Mm hmm Clean bite through is what I like. Some people like fall off the bone, that's fine too. But anyway, these turned out perfectly. You can find this recipe on my website at learningsmoke.com. Also feel free to browse the other videos that I have here. Anyway, feel free to like and subscribe if you like what you see. And also leave a comment, let me know what you like to do with your party ribs and what kind of flavors you like with them. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, hope your days are filled with good times, good friends, good barbecue.